You said meet her at 11. It's 10 past. We could have missed the bus. We didn't though, did we? It's always running late. I should have said to be fair. I'm looking forward to seeing the city. I love visiting new places and seeing all different types of shops. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Unless you like Primark, Greg's and Tesco Express. We've got loads of them. I could screw around a sausage, cheese and bean melt right now. Oh, same. First sausage roll though. Proper classic. Proper boring. Whatever. Oi, get up. The bus is here. Two singles, please. Two pounds. Thanks, mate. Come on. How long will it take to get to town? Half an hour on a good day. Maybe an hour on a bad one. And what type of day is today? I guess we'll have to wait and see. We must be almost there by now. Yeah, we're the next stop. It must be good if all of these people are getting on as well. Kind of. It's the only place to go, really. For fun and for work. All right. Look, here we are. Oh. Here we are. Here we are? What on earth is that? Ignore him. They're everywhere. You still fancy that, Greg? I think I've lost my appetite. Are you sure you're not hungry? How can you eat at a time like this? This place is crawling with zombies. Hey, don't call them that. What else would you call that? Him? That's just Barry. You all right, Barry? Barry was a butcher. What happened to him? Well... Barry worked at the family butchers in the town centre, just like his dad and granddad before him. Everyone loved Barry's gran. He always had the best bangers for the best prices. When they built the new big supermarket, a lot of people stopped shopping at the butchers. It wasn't personal, but the supermarket undercut their prices and they just couldn't compete. The best bangers for the second best prices didn't have the same ring to it, but before he knew it, no one came to the butchers anymore. All of them were made redundant. Wow, that's awful. Is he okay? He just gets on with it. They all do. Like her over there. What's her story? Flora ran her own florist, making the most beautiful bouquets. She could make flowers for any occasions, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries. But then the local factory closed so that the bosses could make more money off hiring workers elsewhere for even less pay and the townspeople didn't have the cash left to spend on Flo's flowers. Flo shut her shop and got a zero hour contract at the local supermarket. At least she's got a job though. Yeah, at the cost of everything else. All a bit morbid, isn't it? What about him? He looks okay. You think he looks alright? My nan used to shop daily at the grocers where Glen worked. She liked that it got her out of the house. She'd get some tomatoes here, some potatoes there, and always a big shiny red apple. An apple a day keeps the doctors away, she'd say. When the government imposed austerity, Nan's benefits were cut. The waiting list for her healthcare treatment went up and her carer only came in twice a week. She couldn't get out of the house to shop at the grocers, nor could half her friends or neighbours. Glenn's employer went under too, and the supermarket benefited. Nan always said he was the pillar of the community. Now Glenn's just a pillar for pigeons. It's not fair. No, it is. Blame the beacon. The beacon? That's the big supermarket. Most communities have one. With jobs gone, benefits cut, cost of living spiralling and big businesses taking over, our town centres don't stand a chance. Supermarkets like The Beacon pay poverty wages and treat their staff poorly. We need local and central government to invest in local services, spaces, jobs and local collectively owned businesses that treat their workers well. And those have to provide for young people too. Until then, our high streets won't serve our communities, they'll serve profit. Well then, what are we waiting for? Huh? Let's get rid of it, why not? I didn't think I could. Well that's what's better on, come on let's go. Are you ready? Always. Do you know what, I think I fancy a pasta after all.